Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video from Tech Tuxedo. Today in this video I am going to show you a must known important skill for system admin and that is to how to dis disown a process. From disown what I mean is how to run a process in the background and how to mo make that process independent of the shell you are logged in. That means the process is now independent of you even if you are logged in to the machine or you are not logged in, in into the machine the process is going to run in the background. I'm going to show you how you accidentally run a process in the foreground and now you want to exit that shell and you want it to run forever. So these are the simple steps that you will follow and the process is going to be independent. So let's suppose I have an important script. this is my important script okay this script is really important to me and I accidentally run that script in the foreground now I knew that this script is really important to me and it's gonna take a really long time and I can get my session disconnected in the meanwhile and I accidentally run in in the foreground and now I want to do something I remember that oh shit I have to do something before this script and I forgot to do it but I still have time so instead of taking a new session I'm gonna hit control Z on here so the script is stopped okay if I tail that that same that file that I created that important file important script file you will see it stopped so I'm gonna make it run in the background okay it's running in the background now BG1 because the job ID was 1 it's running in the background you can see it's running and if I tail F that file you can see that file is, uh, is being updated now so I'm sure it's running in the background I can do my job whatever I want to do but then I realize oh yeah it's running in the background everything's fine I've done my job but I want to exit the shell and what if I exit the shell and this job is getting it this all get this job gets interrupted so I'm gonna use this simple command it's called I'm gonna hit jobs first and, and then I'm gonna go to this zone iPhone edge percentage one because the job ID is one over here so I'm gonna hit percentage one and I'm going to hit enter and bang on. Now this job is actually independent of this shell. I'm going to do it again once more. I'm going to hit jobs first. I'm, I can still see the job. I'm going to hit this zone again. This zone and then one. Sorry, person is one. And I'm going to hit jobs. I will see the job is gone. I'm gonna hit exit and now suppose after two three hours I want to check back if my job is run properly or something like that I'm gonna go in I'm gonna tail up that file and bang on it's still running okay guys this is a simple step to follow if you accidentally run a job in the background and then you realize you want to run uh, you run a job in the foreground and then you realize you want to run in the background and even more you realize that you want it to be independent of a shell these are the steps you will follow and the process is gonna be independent now whether you are in the shell or not Hope you find this video useful. Hope you will use some time somewhere in your career. I'm gonna keep posting more such videos. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please put in your comment what video should I do next. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.